show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that to err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My God, my God, look upon me, why hast thou forsaken me, and art so far from my health, and from the words of my complaint? O oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not, and in the night season also I take no rest. And thou continuest holy, O thou worship of Israel. Our fathers hoped in thee, they trusted in thee, and thou didst deliver them. They called upon thee and were holpen, they put their trust in thee, and were not confounded. But as for me, I am a worm and no man, a very scorn of men, and the outcast of the people. All that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out their lips and shake their heads, saying, he trusted in God that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him if he will have him. But thou art he that took me out of my mother's womb. Thou wast my hope when I hanged yet upon my mother's breasts. I have been left unto thee ever since I was born. Thou art my God, even from my mother's womb. O oh, go not for me, for my trouble is hard at hand, and there is none to help me. Many oxen are come about me, 
Fat bowls of basin close me in on every side. They gape upon me with their mouths, as it were ramping and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart, also in the midst of my body, is even like melting wax. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue cleaveth to my gums, and thou shalt bring me unto the dust of death. For many dogs are come about me, and the counsel of the wicked layeth siege against me. They pierced my hands and my feet, I may tell all my bones. They stand staring and looking upon me. They part my garments among them, and cast lots upon my vesture. But be now that far from me, O Lord, thou art my succor, haste thee to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my darling from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, thou hast heard me also from among the horns of the unicorns. I will declare thy name unto my brethren, in the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. O oh, praise the Lord, ye that fear him. Magnify him, all ye of the seed of Jacob. And fear him, all ye seed of Israel. For he hath not despised, nor abhorred the low estate of the poor. He hath not hid his face from him. But when he called unto him, he heard him. My praise is of thee in the great congregation. My vows will I perform in the sight of them that fear him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. They that seek after the Lord shall praise him. Your heart shall live forever. All the ends of the world shall remember themselves, and be turned unto the Lord. And all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before him. For the kingdoms is the Lord's, and he is the governor among the people. All such as be fat upon earth have eaten and worshipped. All they that go down into the dust shall kneel before him, and no man hath quickened his own soul. My seed shall serve him, they shall be counted unto the Lord for a generation. They shall come, and the heavens shall declare his righteousness unto a people that shall be born whom the Lord hath made. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in the 10th chapter of the book of Exodus, beginning at the first verse. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and the heart of his servants, that I might show these my signs before him, and that thou mayst tell in the ears of thy son and of thy son's son what things I have wrought in Egypt, and my signs which I have done among them, that ye may know how that I am the Lord. And Moses and Aaron came in unto Pharaoh, and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, How long wilt thou refuse to humble thyself before me? Let my people go, that they may serve me. Else, if thou refuse to let my people go, behold, 
Tomorrow will I bring the locusts into thy coast. They shall cover the face of the earth, that one cannot be able to see the earth. And they shall eat the residue of that which is escaped, which remaineth unto you from the hail, and shall eat every tree which groweth for you out of the field. And they shall fill the houses and the houses of all thy servants, and the houses of all the Egyptians, which neither thy fathers nor thy father's fathers have seen since the day that they were upon the earth unto this day. And he turned himself and went out from Pharaoh. And Pharaoh's servants said unto him, How long shall this man be a snare unto us? Let the men go, that they may serve the Lord their God. Knowest thou not yet that Egypt is destroyed? And Moses and Aaron were brought again unto Pharaoh. And he said unto them, Go, serve the Lord your God, but who are they that shall go? And Moses said, We will go with our young and with our old, with our sons and with our daughters, with our flocks and with our herds, will we go, for we must hold a feast unto the Lord. And he said unto them, Let the Lord be so with you, as I will let you go and your little ones. Look to it, for evil is before you. Not so. Go now ye that are men, and serve the Lord, for that ye did desire. And they were driven out from Pharaoh's presence. The Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand over the land of Egypt for the locusts, that they may come up upon the land of Egypt, and eat every herb of the land, even all that the hail hath left. And Moses stretched forth his rod over the land of Egypt, and the Lord brought an east wind upon the land all that day and all that night. And when it was morning, the east wind brought the locusts. The locusts went up over all the land of Egypt, and rested in all the coasts of Egypt, very grievous were they, before them there were no such locusts as they, neither after them shall be such. For they covered the face of the whole earth, so that the land was darkened. They did eat every herb of the land, and all the fruit of the trees which the hail had left, and there remained not any green thing in the trees or in the herbs of the field through all the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron in haste, and he said, I have sinned against the Lord your God and against you. Now, therefore, forgive, I pray thee, my sin only this once, and entreat the Lord your God, that he may take away from me this death only. And he went out from Pharaoh and entreated the Lord, and the Lord turned a mighty strong west wind, which took away the locusts and cast them into the Red Sea. There remained not one locust in all the coasts of Egypt. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, so that he would not let the children of Israel go. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, Egypt even darkness which may be felt. And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt three days. They saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days, but all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. And Pharaoh called unto Moses and said, Go ye, serve the Lord, only let your flocks and your herds be stayed. Let your little ones also go with you. And Moses says, Thou must give us also sacrifices and burnt offerings, that we may sacrifice unto the Lord our God. Our cattle also shall go with us. There shall not an hoof be left behind. For therefore, thereof must we take to serve the Lord our God, and we not know not with what we must serve the Lord until we come thither. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he would not let them go. And Pharaoh said unto him, Get thee from me, take heed to thyself. See my face no more, for in that day thou seest my face, thou shalt die. And Moses said, Thou hast spoken well. I will see thy face again no more. Here ends the first lesson. We praise thee, O God, we acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. 
To the all angels cry aloud, the hands and all the powers therein. To the cherubim and seraphim continually to cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee, the goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee, the noble army of martyrs praise thee, the holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The Father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable true and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ, thou art the everlasting Son of the Father, who when thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine heritage. Govern them, and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted, let me never be confounded. The second lesson is written in the 13th chapter of the Epistle to the Hebrews, beginning at the first verse. Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Remember that them are in bonds as bound with them, and them which suffer adversity as being yourselves also in the body. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have, for he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversation. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, and today, and forever. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines, for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats which have not profited them that have been occupied therein. We have an altar, whereof they have no right to eat which serve the tabernacle. For the bodies of those beasts whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sin are burned without the camp. Wherefore Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered without the gate. Let us go forth therefore unto him without the camp, bearing his reproach. For here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. By him therefore let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually, that is, the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name. But to do good and to communicate forget not, for with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. Here ends the second lesson. Bless.
Bless me, the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies, and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers, and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he swore to our forefather Abraham, that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon Thee. Endue Thy ministers with righteousness, and make Thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save Thy people, and bless Thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. We beseech the Almighty God mercifully to look upon thy people, that by thy great goodness they may be governed and preserved evermore, both in body and soul, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who hatest nothing that thou hast made, and dost forgive the sins of all them that are penitent, 
create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily limiting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of thee, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Confident that God hears us when we cry out to him in our need, we now place our petitions before him. For the Church throughout the world, most especially for our Bishop Graham, that infused with the Holy Spirit, he may inspire those of us who he leads. In our diocese this day, we pray for Bradwell and the clergy, Stephen Deal, as he prepares to become rector, Sue Upton and Martin Upton. We remember also the Homefield C of E V C Primary School in Bradwell. And in the Anglican cycle of prayer, we remember the Diocese of Medak in South India and their bishop A.C. Solomon Raj, the Diocese of West Lango in Uganda, and their bishop Alfred Akur Okoli. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember Elizabeth, our Queen, and all entrusted with civic authority, that in the face of this pandemic they may seek and heed wise counsel. May their policies uphold the poor and the most vulnerable. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember all doctors, nurses, medical personnel, and researchers with gratitude, that they may be strengthened and protected. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We give thanks for all whose labor allows us to receive the things which we need most. May they be bolstered by our sincere gratitude and protected from all harm. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the sorrowing, for the lonely, for the anxious, and for the forgotten and alienated. We pray for those whose quarantine puts them in harm's way that we may be made aware of the struggles of all and reach out to them in love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, especially those battling the coronavirus. We pray for those known to us who are in need of prayer, especially Sharon, Father Allen, Father Jonathan, Mel, Barry, Derek, Canon Richard, Paul, Leah and family, Elizabeth and family, Megan, Derek, Mel, Fiona, Robert, Susan, Stephen, Nairi, Sally, Clarence and his sister, James, George, Rosemary, Brandina, and Trish, and all those who have left prayer requests to St. George Colgate Church. May healing love and goodness fill their lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, especially our recently departed Douglas, Jackie, Trevor, and Diane. And for those whose anniversaries of death fall at this time, especially Frederick George Mitchelson and Bernard Dorman. That the dead may rest in Christ, and the living may be comforted in our grief. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time, with one accord, to make our common supplications unto thee, and as promised, that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore.